Alright, welcome everyone to tonight's broadcast of the Northwest Short Track Series. Tonight at Langley Speedway. We have 63 laps on tap for tonight. For these drivers. Let's take a look at the current point standings in the series. Your points leader is Casey Garber. In second place is Josh Washington. In third place is Dan Lowther. In fourth place is Bobby Grady. Fifth place is Dylan Huffman, but he is not here tonight, so he could fall in the point standings. In sixth place is Troy Daggett. In seventh place is Eric Cheney. In eighth place is Tyler Kim. Ninth place is Corey Eckelberger. And in tenth is Terry Ackerman, and he is also not here tonight, too. But these drivers do get three drop races, so this could count for them as a drop race. They'll be dropping the zero points tonight. Uh, qualifying's over, and we're about to start the main. Setting fast time tonight is Bobby Grady. He's going to get those five bonus points that everyone wants. So your starting lineup for tonight will be in the 15 cars. Starting on the pole is Jason Walker. Outside of him is the 12 of Gabe Sessler. Starting the second row is 05 Austin Ackerman. Outside of him will be 63 of Dan Lather. Inside third row is Troy Dagg in the 9 car. Outside of him will be 96 of Casey Garber. Starting the fourth row. Second quick is 06 of Josh Washington. Starting outside is in the one car, Bobby Gray, who set fast time. Then on the inside of the next row, 73 court, Eckelberger. And the 71, 76 of Eric Cheney. On the outside of him. On the inside of the next row is Tyler Kim. On the outside of him is Jeff Hazen. Then the TJ Hazen and Casey Cavanagh round out your top 14 that are starting tonight. The drivers are gridding up, getting ready to roll off. The 15 of Jason Walker wanted to eat well because this is his second race in the series, so he didn't want to hurt the point stands too bad for these guys. So that will move up Austin Ackerman to the pole position for the start of the race. Remember the start is on green flag in this series so but the ensuing restarts will be on leader once the pace car has left the racing service the pace car is out for one more lap they're just giving some time for uh, Walker and then 15 car to get to the back Pace car is about to come off, then middle three and four about to duck on off. Pace car is off. Green flag is out. Ah, uh, Slackerman got a good jump in the 05 car. He's in clear of the 12 car. Coming out too. He takes that high line and up there, weaves it open for the 9 car. 9 cars on the inside. He got a little loose. Austin Ackerman is going to lead that lap. But now the nine car of Daggett, he's going to take the lead away. He's clearing the three. Dave's got the lead up. Oh, there goes the 12 car of uh, Gabe Sessler. That'll bring out the caution. Just look like he just got loose on his own right there. In that corner. He goes in. He gets a little loose. Sliding out. Eric Cheney misses him. He saves it. 
Goes back up the track. That's a little scary for those drivers right there. That's right on board Eric Cheney. See him a little loose there in that 12 car. He's got him on the brakes a little bit, let him slide on through. So, that's your first caution of the night. But Daggett is your leader. Followed by Ackerman, Washington, Garber, and Grady are your top five. And Lowther, Cheney, Kim, and Eckelberger, and Hazen are your top ten. TJ. Should be coming around getting one of the go. So Dago will be choosing inside or outside. Remember in this league, they get to choose. The leader will get to choose inside or outside. Apparently they didn't get the one to go yet. The fights are still on the pace car. So, like I said, when they get the one to go, the nine car will be either high or low to let the second place of Austin Ackerman know, hey, you need to line up on the what side of me. Then everyone else will sign up, line up double file behind them, where they're supposed to be. Alright, lights are off. Day gets to the outside. So he's letting Ackerman know, hey, you get the inside lane, but Day gets, still controls the restart even though he chose the outside lane, so he can go once the pace car left the racing surface. He can take off. Alright, pace car's off, Dave takes off, he got a great jump. Over Ackerman. Garber's gonna try to go that work that outside to get that at second place. But he fell back a little bit. He's going to fall back in line behind Josh Washington between him and Grady. But Grady's not going to let him have it easy. But they single filed out. Twelve's inside the 41 here. We're starting on the outside, it's not too friendly, but if you're the leader, you can pick it and get a good jump. See, Josh Washington got a little loose right there. Ackerman, he wants that spot back, so he's going to try and get up there. Garbage P on the inside of Washington, he's there. You guys know it's coming out of that, go down a French stretch down the inside of Washington, Washington gave it to him. He's probably letting him know, hey, it's, this is lap 13, I'm not going to race too hard, I'll try to catch you later. And Garbage work on the inside of, uh, Ackerman now. He's there. Now Washington's trying to follow Garber through. Ackerman's just sitting on the outside. Nothing he can do. And the one car Grady, he's going to try and follow through too. Easiest thing for 
Aquaman to do is just tap the brakes and fall right behind uh, Grady before Lather, Lather gets there, which he did. Now Garber sets the sights on their leader. Dag it. Garber has seven wins on the season this so far. And he wasn't here last week, so he didn't get two more wins. He probably would have had eight and nine maybe. But he wasn't here, so He's setting up day. He gave him a little bump right there. Let him know, hey, let's go. Either let's go or get out of the way so I can get around you. Give him another little bump as you dig and get squirrely there. Now Garber's making his run to the inside right there. Got to run off that corner. Now it puts a dig on the outside. Washington's going to try and fall him through. Dig just gets on the brakes a little bit. Let them both go through and fall right in line behind him. Eric Cheney went around Ackerman. Now Tyler Kim, because he can try and get him. We got Jason Walker trying to get around the 99 of Jeff Hazen. Got single filed out. We got Bobby Grady on the inside of Josh Washington now for second spot. Grady's clear. Now he's going to set his sights on uh, Casey Garber. Wow, there's, he's starting to work on Daggett. He wants to try and get up there in the fourth position. You also got Kim. He wants to try and get around Ackerman for the seventh spot. You got Casey Kavner working on Corey Eckelberger in the 73. But your leader is still K Casey Garber. Here's about for fourth. We got Ackerman. He's trying to get around Cheney now. Up oh, the caution is out. Looks like for the ninety-nine. Like he just was like he just lost it by himself right there. 
And leader come around and you see there, there's the yellow. Their leader is Garber. And Scratty, Washington, Daggett, Lowther are your top five. Followed by Cheney, Ackerman, Kim, and Eckelberger, and Cavender are in your top ten. Then round out the rest of the field will be Sessler, Walker, TJ Hazen, and Jeff Hazen. We got 30 to go in the 60 lap future here. The question is, can the one car get around the 96 of Garber, which has been fast? You see him choosing the low lane. They're getting the one to go, so they're about to double up. And remember, this high line is not good for restarts. So we'll see how far back the 1, the 9, and the 76 fall back on this restart. Along with 38 and 03. Pace car is off. Green flag. Car we get jumps right. Goes. O six of Washington. And you got the and one made contact. I put it four wide. Now Grady's underneath the uh, Dag it Dag it got loose. Grass goes on by now. Eric Cheney, he's trying to get in there, but it looks like there might have been another caution. Looks like the seventy three went around. Twelve's on the inside and kinda of made contact right there. I send the seventy three around. About that little shake up right there, it's uh Garber, Washington. Lather, Grady, Daggett are your top five. A little, little shakeup right there. Grady fell from second back to fourth. Lather moved up from fifth to third. Then Cheney, Ackerman, Kim, Cavender, and TJ Hazen's up to tenth. And looks like the 99 of Jeff is getting one of his laps back. That should put him back on the lead lap now. Alexander coming into one to go. You see Garber is dipping low. Let him know. Letting Washington know. Outside for you, buddy. Alright, we're coming up with around 23 to go. Coming up on 22 to go in this race. Ace car's off. Garber went. Green flag's out. Washington's on the outside. 
Look, he's going to get down under it. Now, before Lather gets there, he does. I put the Bobby Grady on the outside now. So he can try to get in. Daggett's down there. Looks like there's some contact with him. 73 and 41 right there. But no caution. They're still going. You got the 15 and 38 side by side. The 12's underneath there now. 12's gonna work on 15. Grady's on the inside of Daggett. Daggett's gonna try to get underneath there before Ackerman can fill that hole up. But Garber's still your leader over Washington. Right now, first and sticker are your one, two, and point standings. Actually, the third one is Dan Lowther. He's up there. So it's one, two, three, and your point stands are one, two, and three. Now the one of Grady is going to work on Dan Lowther. Try to get around him. Grady's there in the corner. Well, that gives him the height. Gives him that low line. They're side by side. Well, they're trying to cross over. So I'm go high in that corner. He's there underneath the bumper. And well, they're just going to get the get the gas down coming out that corner. So I'm got a little loose. That gives. Grady to the outside, he can keep that pole. We're at twelve to go. Actually, 11 to go now. Garber's still your leader. Now the one of Grady's going to try to work on Josh Washington. But I don't think a lot of people have anything for Garber. Eric Cheney here in 8th. He's got the 12 and the 15. We're gone. Um, 12's on the inside. Cheney way high. Got Casey Cavender. He's trying to run down Austin Lockerman. Got the 12 car way loose again. He's going around right in front of Tyler Kim. This will probably bring out the note of caution. Let's take a look on Tyler Kim's bo on board. See him a little loose now. There he comes back down the track. He gets on the brakes. Right there. Uh, some good record avoidance right there. Kind of what Eric Cheney did earlier in the race. Alright, this is probably what Casey Garber didn't want to see. Was this caution. 
He had a big old lead. But it's also going to stack the field back up. We got single file, so. Now the question is, is has did anyone save tires? This will be the time to use them. Granted, they don't get no extra sets of tires. Throughout the run, it, you can have hard to drive the car and everything. You can save your tires for late in the run so you can push harder if there's a late race caution. We've got the one to go. Garber's pick chose the inside line again. Put Washington outside. We're gonna restart with two laps to go, so all these guys should be driving real hard. Well, hopefully they race with uh, caution too. Base car is off. Green flags out. Washington and Garber side by side going in the corner here. There's that Garber drove it in a little deep. Grady's on the inside of Washington. They single out. You got Lowther. You got a little bump from uh, Austin Ackerman. Lowther saves it. Looks like the 15. Got a little sideways there. But Garber is coming off four. Checker flags out. It's Garber, Washington, Grady, Daggett, Cavender are your top five. Followed by Cheney, Lowther, TJ Hazen, Corey Eckelberg, and Oster Ackerman are your top ten. Then Jeff Hazen, Tyler Kim, and Jason Walker. And Gabe Sessler are your rest of your finishing order. But Garber, he is your race winner. He picked up that number eight win of the season. I'd like to thank all of you guys watching tonight. Remember, later this week, we'll have the the West Late Model Series racing at Langley for 125 laps. And a lot of these drivers that are racing this league also racing that one. They drive the Late Model slot car. So, look for that video coming out, come out later this week. Alright, have a good night.